YouTube. This is Melon Tart VA. And this is Sakuya Hamano. And welcome to something a little different. As I'm sure most people uh, know, the um, Magia Record mobile game in the U.S. is going to be shutting down at the end of September. Which is very unfortunate because... And I actually hardly got the chance. To, I actually hardly got the chance to play it, but I did enjoy it from what I did play. Which is why uh, today we're going to talk about possibly what happened to Magia Record. Okay, so to begin, we we should probably go back to go like way back to the beginning in like in like uh, two thousand eleven when we first got Madoka Magica. Do you uh, uh, remember that time, Sakia, when Madoka first came out? I mean, like, again, like, I didn't really hear about it until, like, you introduced me to it, but... Oh, wow, like, I actually uh, I didn't hear about it until, like, a 2013. Then, however, like, Madoka, like, shook the foundation of the Magical Girl anime. Oh, yeah, like, it, you know, like, you know, it, when I first watched it, I thought it was going to be just a Sailor Moon of this generation. But then episode three happened, and your reaction was... My jaw hit the floor. <laughs> and it left a dent there? Yep. Well, uh, like, literally, I think I could still see the little, um, the, the little chinks in the floor from where my jaw hit it. <laughs> <clears throat> And so, yeah, basically, Madoka truly changed, changed, changed uh, the game. And then uh, it w we actually received the um, a sequel movie, which unfortunately kind of split the fandom over its ending. Like many people were actually excited for more, and a lot more people were pissed off. Asa I see. Asakia, what was your stance on the entire, like, whole Lucifer ending thing. Uh, honestly, kind of like you, it basically pretty much ruined my reputation of Hamura. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I, I, I mean, like, I mean, like, you know, like, the original anime kind of made Hamura feel like... Like a, like a BAMF? Yeah, yeah, like a BAMF, and also just, like, a kind of sympathetic anti-hero, anti-heroine. Yep, However, then, the end of Rebellion happened, and let's just say that it completely ruined Homura for me forever. Yeah. Hashtag, uh, hashtag, Homura fucked up the universe. Again! And then, after that, aside from a, um, a, a teaser of the uh, a concept movie, we basically got nothing. Until yeah. 2017, when the trailer came out for a new mobile game titled Magia Record. But unfortunately, it was only in um, Japan. I, I actually played a bit of it, even if I didn't fully understand everything. But I did enjoy it. And even so, I kept begging and waiting for a U.S. release. And then, in, two, in 2018, we got the announcement. Magia Record was coming uh, to the U.S. along with an anime adaptation. And needless to say, as a motto franchise fangirl, I, I was stoked! <laughs> and definitely as someone who's definitely on board as, like, a, a Madoka fangirl at that point when uh, Melon showed me the anime, mm -hmm. of the original anime, I was definitely excited to see the anime adaption. Yep. Yep. And so we... In um, a, a 2019, Magia Record released in the U.S., and I got to play it on day one, along with several other people. Sadly, Sokka, yeah, you ended up having to wait a bit because your phone couldn't handle it, I think. Was that the problem? Yeah, and then it's like I, I finally upgraded my phone to one that could handle it, and I enjoyed it for what it was. Yeah, like, yeah, like, among the girls, uh, girls, uh, you actually saw, like, who was your favorite among the new girls from who, that, from what you saw? That was, a, that's actually a pretty tough one, actually. Only because as 
you didn't experience and, enough and like of it. A lot of them were pretty. A lot of them were pretty cool. Ah. However, I'm guessing Sana you didn't get to experience because, like, I think you'll like her. Yeah. All right. All right. However, like, you'll get to see her, but. Yeah. But from when I saw the anime, I kind of liked. Uh, I think it was either y- Yachio or Iroha. Okay. Okay, like, was she pink or was she blue? Because I can tell you which one that is. Blue. That's Yachio. Yeah, so I liked Yachio. Okay, then. And so, uh, and so as um, a 2019 a kicked by, we kept waiting for the anime. And waiting, and waiting, and waiting. And we got nothing. Until, like, a December... When they finally uh, uh, revealed, uh, uh, we'd be getting the first season of um, a Maggie record, a record uh, uh, which was ultimate, ultimately the first half of the story in January. Even though we were promised a 2019 release, unfortunately, that's a bad habit of Shaft. Like they tend, to, like they, often, they, they, they never finish Sorry. things on time. You know, when it comes to timing, they really give you the shaft. <laughs> you did not just say that. Indeed, I did. Okay, then. Sorry, I had to make that pun. No, 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 that's okay. And unfortunately, with the anime, a lot of people nitpicked and criticized. Which, to be honest, I actually found a little unfair, because, I mean, that was actually a pretty good anime from what I saw. Yeah, like uh, most of the of the complaints was that oh look at that mundane problems. It's, it's basically Precure when actually no, it's not. I've seen Precure, and also by the way, people have any of you seen like the um original Madoka? Most of the problems actually started from, like, mundane problems. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, like, essentially, that's kind of a a magical girl anime trope. Yeah, like, look at Sayaka. What ultimately was um, Sayaka's downfall? A love triangle. Tell me, tell me, tell me that doesn't seem like a mundane problem. Uh, I mean, or or look at a... Hell, if you want to even go back further, look at Sailor Moon. We were actually focusing on 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 like on 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 like the Madoka comparisons with the original yeah, Madoka. Yeah, 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 but I'm I'm saying like with the comparison of mundane problems. Yep, and also by the way, like apparently Madoka actually spawned a lot of what's known as um edical girl. Yeah. And unfortunately, uh, to me, the one anime which actually did it right was weirdly Yuki Yuna as a hero. To me, that's yeah. the only one. All the others yeah. went way too far. I'm looking at you, magical girl sight. Yeah, a lot of those were just dark for the sake of being dark. Yep. Or they went way too far in their first episode. Again, magical girl sight. Yeah, right. I mean, like literally, it it takes a lot for me to rage quit an ep, a, an anime at the first episode. And that one did it, but like Madoka, like Madoka never made me rage quit. I I was absolutely Same. happy for there to be more Madoka, and I didn't care what they did. And it's like for someone who rage quits an edgy anime, this is coming from a berserk fangirl. <laughs> yeah, like it takes a lot for you to rage quit something. Yeah. Guilty Crown. Yeah, right. However, we're not going to talk about Guilty Crown. Unfortunately, as the gotcha game uh, continued, the drop rates became borderline unfair. And, and and unfortunately, the um event drops actually never lasted for very long, uh, which unfortunately led to microtransactions. And unfortunately, some people who... um who um, uh, couldn't do them, were ultimately missing missing out on some of the event Magical Girls, which was really not fair. 
no. And it's like, I mean, like, that's why other games, you know, you know, they might have a, a lower drop rate, you know, for grinding, but it's like, they still give you that chance. Yeah, like, yeah, like, uh, uh, for me, like, after, like, Gataka and, um, and, um, Asayuki, I unfortunately never actually got a, another event drop. Like, Shit. ever. I never got one af after those two. Not even fucking Ui. I couldn't get her. Shit. Yeah, like... And unfortunately said uh, un unfairness ultima ultimately led to... um. Of people actually dropping the game and if you ask me that's what ultimately led to the upcoming shutdown and people just yeah. dropping it because of the unfairness i mean to be honest they shouldn't even have to shut down the game they should just fix the fix the gotcha yep but sadly it's too late maggie a record <laughs> is shutting down here because in the u.s at the end of the month because i mean like some other like gacha games have something called a pity drop system where it's like effectively like the longer you go without <clears throat> the longer you go without like a rare drop or an event drop the better the chance the game, of you getting one yeah because the game will raise the likelihood of you getting one the longer you go without one until you finally get one yeah but unfortunately Maggie Record didn't have that option which is stupid yeah because again like that pity drop rate kind of makes the gotcha a little more fair. Yeah, like, didn't, like, FGO have that? Yeah, if I remember correctly. I know uh, f uh, Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross, and I think Dokkan Battle adopted that. Yep. Yep, however, sadly, something like that prob probably could have saved Maggie a record. Or, or wait, actually, I think Dokkan, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, I think just raised the five-star drop rate with, like, the larger the pull you made. Oh, oh, okay. So, like, a sort of ten times pull was better the chances. Y yeah. Which, like... Uh, which, uh, like, like a Maggie record actually did <laughs> for, for, for a while, but unfortunately, I think after Sayuki and Amgadoka, they kind of dropped it. Which, again, kind of ruins the gotcha. It makes it less fun. Yep. Yep. Which, if you ask me, that's what ultimately killed, killed, killed Maggie a record. Yeah. And led to its cancellation. So, unfortunately, that second arc, which, which is actually active in, um, um, in um, uh, Japan right now, we're never gonna get it. We're never gonna get all those new magical girls or that crossover with with Monogatari. We're never gonna get that. Which is unfortunate. Yep. However, thankfully, we did actually uh, 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 receive the, the um, lyrical Nanoha crossover for the new movie that came out. Oh, nice. Yep. Yep. However, sadly, <sighs> Monogatari, we're never gonna get. Which is really sad. Like, Maggie Record, uh, to me, Maggie Record uh, was really a breath of fresh sh sh air, uh, air uh, uh, which Monica needed after six years of nothing. Yeah. And, and I mean, like, the fact that, you know, we even got a Monica game was, like, awesome. Yep. Yep. And also an um, anime adaptation of that game, even if unfortunately right now only the first half of half of it uh, was actually adapted, and like who knows when the second season is going to happen. True. Shaft get Shaft get to work. Ser seriously, guys, like you know, you know your fa your fans are your fans are hungry for more content. Yep. Yeah, like are the fans who. Oh, who like actually appreciate Magia record are waiting. Yeah, it's like the fans who just love Madoka in general. Yep. However, sadly, for now, it's back to the Madoka void. Yep. Anyway, like I think that'll uh, do it. We'll actually end 
end this oh so, end this oh, uh, 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 with a few mess messages from um, uh, some of the, my um, uh, friend friends who 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 absolutely loved Magia Record. I I am Melantar VA, and I am Sakuya Amano, and we'll see all of you in the next video. Bye bye. Jesus.